Hey guys, so um, if you've been watching the past couple days, I posted all of my surrogacy, like I called them surro diaries. Um, I did November, December, and January. Um, I recorded maybe two or three videos since January, and um, they are, I don't have them with me. I'm in Arizona, um, which I'll explain that in probably the March update. Um, but anyways, so I didn't have them with me, so uh, I'm just going to kind of recap in sections. So I'm going to do a recap of February, and then a recap of March, and a recap of April, and then you guys should be in real time. Um, I think, I'm trying to decide, I kind of like the, the Surro Diaries sort of thing. I don't know, um, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing just kind of like monthly videos of that, just like putting all of them together, or maybe I'll go to like bi-weekly now. Um, I don't know, we'll see how that all turns out. But I'm glad to be back and uploading videos on so, in February, the IPs, um, they were gone, like, three out of four weeks of February. They went back to their home country to visit family, and I was kind of here all by myself trying to get everything going. Um, I was talking with the clinic and trying to figure out what days would work for the transfer and, um... We were, uh, and I was talking to my lawyers and uh, trying to trying to find new lawyers. And um, with that, to kind of explain the whole lawyer thing, um, I didn't mention this in the January updates because I was hoping it would just kind of not be a big deal. But it ended up kind of a big deal. So what happened was in January. Um, I had reached out to the lawyer that, um, sorry, it's really dark, but I um, hope you can at least hear me okay. <laughs> uh, my, I had reached out to my lawyer that had represented me when I was pregnant with the twins and um, asked if he would represent me again and if he thought there was, um, or, I mean, or, um, and then if you'd recommend someone that would be good to represent the parents. And uh, we talked a bit and we decided that I was actually going to go ahead and use the um, a lawyer that was in the same building as him. They weren't affiliated, but they worked with each other's contracts in the past. And I was going to let the parents use him because he was more experienced working with intended parents than the other lawyer was. And I wanted to make sure everything got good on their end. And since I've done it before, I kind of knew what to look for, so if I had questions, you know, I would understand, or I would, um, I could, if, if I had questions, I would be able to, um, better voice them, I should say. So, um, they, the parents called up my lawyer and talked to him a bit, and then they called me and told me that they didn't really want to use him. Um, because of the, um, the cost that he was charging, they were expecting a little less, and it, um, he um, quoted them more than they wanted to pay. So they asked me, while they were gone in February, to look for another lawyer. Um, I did, and I couldn't really find anybody um, that had worked with surrogacy before that didn't cost my, and, um, in fact, m the ones that I did find cost more than him. So, um, I emailed them and, um, obviously since they were in another country, it was kind of, um, a little delayed getting responses and that sort of thing. And, um, they were still pretty adamant that they wanted to go with a different lawyer. And I couldn't find anyone, so I decided to, um, let them try to find someone for them, if, you know, that fit, fit their needs. Now, all this time, my lawyer hadn't heard from them, so, um, he had been calling me to, you know, say, like, 
um, what they decided and that um, and if they uh, you know if they were gonna go with something else that was fine but he just wanted to know if he needed to start like kind of um, drafting up contracts between us and that sort of thing and I just told them what I knew that um, they were kind of concerned about the price and all that while I was talking to him I kind of found out a little more about the, um, the situation that I had been led on to know and I don't know I might get into that more in a different video but um, it's I don't know it's over now and I don't really want to like rehash it all but it was just little things that were different than what I was told so I found out like I said I found out things through him um, he had talked to me and um, uh, was you know just kind of saying that um, he supported like whatever decision I made and uh, but also wanted me to know that um, I didn't need to feel like I had to keep these parents you know because there were other parents out there that would um, jump at a chance obviously you know so I don't know we just kind of spoke a little bit about that I didn't make any decisions or anything um, I just kind of talked to my husband a bit about the other stuff I found out and kind of combine that with other concerns we had and just kind of we try to decide what was going to be best for us and our family um, that was pretty much all that happened in February like I said nothing really exciting happened because they were gone the entire month um, but so that was February